What is up my friends, welcome back to your average gents, it's your boy Evan It is quarantine, I figured that since we are stuck at home most of the time Why not do something with our clothes? Take out all your baggy pants, breathe some life into them By tapering them DIY style And bam, that is what we are gonna do today So in today's video, let's take our pants and make them stylish again. I do have a sewing machine actually, but I know most people don't. So for today's video, I'm gonna be tapering my pants without a sewing machine, and I will show you how. The pair of white jeans that I'm gonna be tapering today is from Uniqlo. I got it in slim fit straight cut. And as you can see, it is a little bit baggy at the bottom. By the way, Uniqlo jeans are stretchy and so comfortable. I highly recommend them. I get pretty much everything from them. This is not sponsored, but Uniqlo, if you're watching, Hit your boy up. Anyways, enough of me talking. Without further ado, let's jump into it. First of all, you will need a pair of scissors or a small knife, like a Swiss army knife or something. You will need a sewing kit with thread and needle, of course. Lastly, you need a pencil or pen or a tailor's chalk, something to make the marking. Okay, first step, you're gonna put on the pants inside out and then you're gonna pinch the amount of excess fabric that you wanna taper off. It really doesn't matter much if you decide to take in the inside or the outside. I'm just gonna pinch the outside for this pair of jeans and I'm I'm gonna be using a pencil to mark out the amount that I want to taper. If you're wearing a dark colored pants, you could use a darker colored pen or some pins to mark out the area. And then you're gonna connect the markings, make it a smooth line. Of course, use a ruler if you have one. The next step is to unstitch the end of the pants. This step is optional. It will still work if you don't unstitch, but it will look cleaner if you unstitch when you do the sewing. You'll know what I mean later on. Next, you wanna take enough thread for the sewing, you always want to take extra thread in case that it is not enough. Cut it off. Now we we'll just have to put the thread into the needle. It will be much easier if you use a needle threader just like that. But if you don't have a needle threader, then you will just have to be a little bit more patient. Now let's get on to the sewing. Same thing, make sure that the pants is inside out. It doesn't matter which end do you pick to start. I will fast forward this part. Time for some dope ass time lapse. The wider the gap between the stitches, the less durable will be the stitching. So I usually keep the gap around two millimeters. All right, one side done, on to the next. Time lapse, let's go. Alright, when it's done, you'll just have to sew back the end of the pants. Now you see why it looks more clean if I unstitch the bottom at the start. And bam, there you have it, tapering done. Let's put it on and see how it looks. Whoa, it's pretty dope. I gotta say it is pretty dope. Let's take a look at the before and the after. How amazing is that? The whole process took about half an hour and if you use sewing machine, it's gonna be much faster than that. You save yourself 10, 15 bucks and you save your traveling time back and forth to tailor. You learn a useful new skill and you become more confident. Now, how cool is that? Pretty damn cool if you ask me. And that is it for today's video. If you like this video, make sure to smash that thumbs up button for me. I really appreciate it. And if you're new to this channel, make sure to click the subscribe button 
button below and turn on the notification bell because I drop two new dope videos every single week and you don't want to miss it, man. Once again, my name is Evan. You're watching Your Average Chance and I'll see every one of you in my next video. Bam!